Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I am so excited to do another short story unboxing which is the style service for us shorty short shorts. Uh, people, I believe it's 5'4 and under are able to get petite items from this box. It is definitely one of my favorites. They have stepped up their game recently in that they are providing boxes consistently now, which you know, took them a little while to get here, but I'm just, I'm just happy we're here now, where I'm getting boxes every month, and I love it. I, the reason why I love this service so much is obviously getting pieces that fit me. If you watch my unboxing of other boxes, you frequently see stuff that is too big on me. So, I, these pieces usually fit me really well because, again, they are designed for petite people. So I love that. I also tend to vibe stylistically with this particular box, so I like that as well. And their prices seem to be a little bit better than a Stitch Fix, I would say. So all those reasons make me excited about this box. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Like the other styling services, you fill out a style survey, they send you five pieces, you keep what you like, send back what you don't like. There is a $25 styling fee that does get applied to anything that you purchase. And if you are interested in trying the service for yourself, I do have a referral link below. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, here we go. That is our bundle. I see some wonderful looking sweaters, which is always exciting for me. So first off, we have by Petite Principle, which I have been getting this brand in some of my short story boxes, and I'm a fan. So this one is a black, gray, and burgundy stripe mock neck shirt long sleeve. I really like this. It's, it's a lighter piece, but I think it's going to be a really, really great layering piece. I also like the color combos on this. And, you know, the mock neck, that's a thing right now. So, uh, big fan. I like that. Next up, we have by Current Air. And it has a perforated pattern to it. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It is a half sleeve, kind of a sweatery material. So it's still seasonally appropriate. And kind of a slight ruffle on the sleeve. So I'm, I'm a big neutral fan. I love a cream color, which is what this is, and it feels really good quality. So I like that. Then we have by See the Shades, we have a, oh, a dress. So this is a long sleeve ribbed dress, and it's got kind of like this ruching. I think it's ruching here on the side. So very cool. I always enjoy a nice sweater dress. This sweater, love the color, kind of a tan and white. Oh, I think this is probably staying. Uh, this is by Dreamers. It is a v-neck and kind of a shorter, again, maybe a little bit boxy, but not too boxy. Really nice quality feel to it. So big fan of that. And then Petite Principle, we've got kind of this button up here, burgundy color-ish, I don't know, I think, and nice chunky sweater, again, kind of a crop look to it, so this has been, this type of thing has really been my vibe, I don't know if I said this is petite principle, has been my vibe this winter, so big fan of that. All right, I like, I really like all five of these pieces, and we'll just see what we think once it's on, what the prices are, make our decisions, so let's go ahead and do the try on. Okay, first of all, don't mind my tags here. I'm also doing a Walmart haul, so spoiler alert. Uh, but the sweater, so I really like this. It's a good fit, it has a good thickness to it, it's cozy, it feels good. It's my, I, you know, I love a tan and cream sweater, and I just think, I don't know, I like it. So I like it a lot. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I love this. I have to keep it. So I can use some opinions on this to see what you guys think, but you know, it's just, it's a nice one that, you know, has a little bit of a dressier feel, but I don't know. And I don't know how I feel about v-neck sweaters these days. Do I like v-neck? Do I not like v-neck? I used to be like v-neck or die. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. 
Okay, guys, so this is very close to kind of what my vibe has been this winter, and I, I really like it. There's a couple things I want to know. One, the v-neck is quite low. Now, I got a similar one from Ever Eve. It was a little bit more chunky than this, but, and, you know, it was one that they kind of gave me to style with a tank underneath it, and I feel like I would have to do the same thing with this one because the v goes quite low and I'm, I'm just not comfortable with that so I would have to wear something underneath it which is fine I love wearing stuff underneath my sweaters because it's an extra layer of warmth so I really like it though I do have a lot in this color if you saw my closet clean out video you would know I almost had an entire video devoted to this tone of sweater but I really like it this is my vibe this is this is this is a gen type sweater so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but apparently it made me think of Broadway. Okay, that's probably going to get cut. That's, that's going to get cut. Okay, anyways, next sweater. Okay, so here we go with the half sleeve. And I do like the little ruffle here, but it's it's not bulky, so I could easily layer jackets and stuff over it. I like that it is more of a form-fitting type shirt because it will, you know, easily tuck into things when, I, you know, full tuck into things when I want to do that vibe. I think it's cute. I like the little little hole details because it's like you know it's interesting but you can't see anything with that but this ruffle is not intrusive so I could easily layer stuff over it put on cardigans jackets things like that over it and it's a good thickness you know good kind of sweatery material feels really good quality so I actually really like this this one will probably depend on the price of it because it's like again I like it quite a bit and that's been my theme through this one though it's not like I have to keep this at least I'm not sure so all right let's keep going all right guys so here we are with the turtleneck sweater and I well I guess I'll call it mock neck now it is pretty thin so there's not a lot of thickness to it but I can easily throw on you know again jackets and cardigans over it I think it's really cute and um, I like it. The only thing is the arms are a little snug, so maybe I would consider sizing up at it. Because usually, usually I go for shirts, you know, give me as small as possible, extra extra small, or you know, petite, extra small things like that. So they sent me the right size, but in this particular material, for some reason, I almost would consider sizing up. I'm not sure. So, but what do you guys think? Do you like this? Is it cute? Cute? Yes tucks well into things um, oh here it is here it is pulled out so just so you can see the length of it but I really like it I'm, I'm digging this box okay last up is the dress okay here we go with this dress and this box has nailed the fit really really nailed so sleeve length on everything has been perfection shoulders soldiers are such a huge issue for me because I think I just have tiny tiny shoulders and that has not been an issue with this box at all so I'm really really happy with that and the same goes for this dress just perfect here on top I like that some get some great dangly necklaces on with this would be super cute I also think this ruching is very cute I've been interested and in, I've seen in stitch fix oh this is Frank say hello to the people Frank yeah hi baby stitch fix has had some like um dresses that i keep seeing people posting on the facebook stitch fix pages where they're reselling and they, nobody's ever reselling my size but they have kind of this side ruching and i've been like obsessed with it so i really like that and i don't really feel and we'll see how i feel about it when i look at the playback I, you know, I have an issue with a lot of sweaters being bodycon, and I'm just not a bodycon person. And I feel like it has a level, and maybe I'm kidding myself, and when I watch it back, I'll be like, ooh, too tight. But from the feel of it, it does not feel super on me. So I'm a big fan of this. I don't know what I'm going to keep, so let's go over prices, and we'll make that decision. 
Okay, here we go. Now, first of all, spoiler alert, literally, I'm a maybe on five, all five of these items. So, I'm just not quite sure what I am going to keep, but maybe I'll figure it out as I talk here. So, this is the Christy V-neck striped pullover sweater by Dreamers, and it is $52. I like it. I love the color. I love the feel of it. It feels like good quality. I don't have anything like it. V-neck. So, maybe... You know, I, I wasn't like obsessed with it, but I really do like it. Then we have the Isla Side Rouge Overlap Hem Dress with See the Shades, $58. And I think this was maybe my favorite piece from the box, but it's also one that I really don't need. This is probably one I need the least. I, well, frankly, I don't really need any of these. But, I, you know, I have a few kind of grayish sweater dresses, so it's like... This is almost a little bit of a closet redundancy and I'm doing a closet clean out. And, uh, so I'm just not really sure about that. Okay, next up we have the Corrine Button Cardigan by Petite Principle. It is $52 and I like it, but I do have a lot in this color, but I do really like it. So this one, I you know, was kind of... I think all these I kind of need to watch myself back to fully make my decision and I think this is one is definitely I need to see. It is a little bit lower cut than I liked so I do have to wear something under it. I don't know. Next up we have by Current Air. This is a short sleeve sweater knit top and it is $52. Again, you know, I like it. Now I'm not sure if I $52 like it. Some of the other ones seem a little bit more worth the price as one. I'm not sure about, even though it is great quality, uh, you know, I have no issues on that. It would be great with some color pants. <laughs> we'll see. Then we finally have the Kayla Stripe Mock Net Top by Petite Principle, and it is $42, and I definitely don't have anything like this. I like the striping on it. I think it's cute, but it is also a little bit thin, but it'll layer well. So... We are here to the end of the video where I've made zero decisions. Oh, so uh, the total to, for the entire box and with taking out the $25 styling fee that I already paid is $231. That's it. I just don't know what to keep. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on what you think. I really, really, really do like this box. And my struggle is just, you know, what do I need in my closet? Uh, what, sh what should I keep? Ugh. I don't know. Anyways. So that's it guys, that is the box, another very successful short story that fit on this box was outstanding in my opinion and I had a great time, I love the styles. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, if you do please give it a thumbs up, that's always appreciated and if you are not subscribed then feel free to, to subscribe below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks, bye.